<laughs> anyway, so my name is Valley, uh, right? And I'm half blind. Uh, there's usually a dog assisting me. I don't know where it's, it's, it is right now. She's she's probably trying to steal something. Oh, she's sleeping. Okay. <laughs> because whenever I need her, she just gets the fridge away. I don't know exactly why. Uh, we've been together for for a really long time, and I've noticed recently that we have some things in common. Like I really just like her. I really like doggy style. And also, <laughs> Uh, and also being on a leash. Uh, also, we're kind of hairy. Only well, she's a she's a natural blonde. I'm a natural brunette. Uh, luckily for me, when I get home and my my girlfriend sees like blonde hair on me, she will never think I'm cheating because of the dog. <laughs> Even if I am cheating. So thank you, Brady. Wherever you are. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got my girlfriend here, Andrea. She's not laughing. <laughs> This show might suck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you off start because I'm gonna try some jokes on you guys, okay? So, uh, basically I uh, wanted to become an artist because I really like to like take people away from their problems uh, and uh, you know, uh, from their daily uh, stuff. So, uh, but I'm also like the type of person, uh, it never happens to you to like, uh, uh, self-sabotage? Yeah. Anybody does that? Yeah. yeah. Everybody does that. Because it's like, it's too fucking quiet. I need to stir things up a little bit. And I thought, besides a blind person, I should become someone that might die of hunger, so I became an actor. <laughs> uh, and actually, this year, I only got one gig. I only got paid for one gig, and it was for a religious channel called Trinitas. All right? <laughs> Uh, and the uh, commercial was something like I was, uh, let's just say I was a special extra, all right, in the commercial because it was like that whole scene, you know, with the with the priest that goes like, Oh Lord, hallelujah, come Jesus and put your light upon this man's eyes, and you know, it was like a commercial about healing people and stuff, you know, like the the priest that is like, hallelujah, everybody was like singing and stuff, and at some point the the, the, the priest just psh, touches my face, the image just goes white, and it was like. The candles are Senia Boca. They do wonders. Uh, didn't really work out for me though, uh, but I'm really into superstitions, you know, uh, and there's this superstition when you're young, uh, in high school, and they say if you masturbate too much, hair is going to grow in your palm, or you might go blind. <laughs> Well, I can tell you after four years of intense high school, the hair doesn't grow in your palm. <laughs> so let's try something. Uh, everybody, uh, I want you to look at me like I'm your worst fucking enemy, okay? I want you to look, besides Michael, he's blind, he can't look at me. Just like, I can't, uh, I'm looking at you right now, Michael, I hope, where are you? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the sound. So I want you to picture that I'm your worst freaking enemy ever. Uh, did I, I don't know, I fucked your cat or made your, or killed your grandma, uh, or was it the other way around, fuck the cat. And, okay, uh, whatever, but just, just try it for a second. Can you look at me like super, super bad. I want you to look at me in worst look. Come on, show me your worst look. Show me where you know. <laughs> Okay, come on, come on, do it, do it, do it. I just killed your cat, come on. Yay! You know that? That sounded like a porno. <laughs> like a porno. Well, you see? Nothing! You're Nothing, I'm impervious. I'm like an autistic president that just signs whatever you give him. You're like, yeah, I'm, I'm down with this law. I don't know what the fuck it says. Let's go. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, this is an advantage, by the way, in being blind, okay? You can't really get, um, what's it called, judged by people. Also, you, if you get a stain or something, you're gonna be completely unaware of it because, you know, you don't know. Just people are gonna look funny at you, but. Uh, it, exactly, exactly. Or, for example, if I'm on the street and I'm, you know, pe peeing at the pole or something, and somebody comes by, they don't make any kind of sound, I'm just gonna be like, oh, hello, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, or uh, sometimes in a room, you know, you wanna go and masturbate like a wild monkey, but there's somebody there, but you don't know it, and they're super polite, they don't wanna disturb, you know, like, and uh, yeah, yeah, so <laughs> for us it's really funny because you never know. But also, sometimes it happens because, you know, Romanians like to gossip, okay? Everybody likes to gossip. I think actually this is how language got invented, you know? There was two, two Neanderthals, but like, this guy is like, has his hair too long or too much butt hair, and this is how language got invented, you know? Because of butt hair. Uh, uh, and uh, gossiping, but uh, you know, gossiping for blind people is kind of, is kind of, is kind of not cool, because the person you're gossiping about might be in the room. <laughs> 
or with my luck, I'm like talking to a friend and the friend goes up and, uh, and the person I'm gossiping or telling like a lot of weird shit about is coming right next to me and I was like, yeah, you know, I did this to Michael. I don't know Michael why I'm choosing it, but I'm choosing it tonight. Yeah, fuck you! <laughs> uh, you know, uh, uh, like I did this and that and I fucked his girlfriend and I made him trouble, made him get a fine and the guy's just listening, oh, okay, tell me more. <laughs> while, you know, doing his chainsaw or sharpening his knife, like, yeah, sure, Valentine, tell me more, what, what, did, what did you just do to Michael? So yeah, you might get killed, so watch out when gossiping, people. Also, it happened to me, like, a lot of time to enter a lot of places by mistake. Uh, I'm really known in the flats of my friends, because sometimes I enter their neighbor's house by mistake, and I just take out my coat, my shoes, you know, everything, and at some point, a, a dude goes like, no! And I'm like, oh shit, why did I use a racial slur right now? <laughs> but it's really funny because you, you come into these kind of situations and before you get to explain to people that you're blind, you might get, you know, your ass kicked or if you meet Moldavians, this is really funny, if you meet them, it's gonna be like, oh, you can't see? Like, really? Can't see? At all? Nothing? Ah, come on, man, let's drink until we both can't see shit. <laughs> So I, went, I went to the priest with my mom because my mom was su is super religious. You know, like my house looks like a punk rock uh, room, only instead of uh, like you know the 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 the, the, the uh, affiche, affiche, I affiche. Oh, but instead of the posters, you know, I have like a Sonia Polka and Saint Basil and Jesus in all his fucking states. Like, <laughs> I have a, a, a room collection of Jesus. Anyways, uh, and I went to the priest to ask him. And I, when I was young, I used to go every single Sunday. Oh, I think I touched something. Over there. Uh, every Every single Sunday, I used to go to church, and I used to do the whole routine with Mom. I'm sick. I don't want to go to school since Sunday because it was my day off. And my mom used to like wake me up to go to church, so I used to pray to God that the car breaks down or my mom is sick, which is kind of ironical. Praying to God <laughs> to not go to church. <laughs> But I was doing it, I was doing it, and um, I, I used to go there when I was young, like until like seven or eight years when I grew up, uh, and this priest that hasn't seen me for like 20 years, 20 something years, okay, I go to him and I'm like, okay, so I'm going blind, like a lot of blind, super blind, like I like to say, and uh, he was like, okay, 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 listen, 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 I think this is what happened, God has a plan for you, he made you blind, because otherwise, you'd be an asshole, or a criminal, and I was like, you haven't seen me for 20 years, you're not asking me how I am, what I'm doing, what's popping, what's my job, you just tell me I'm a fucking asshole, <laughs> right off the bat. And I was like, where's the presumption of innocence, you know? Uh, so this is what the priest thinks of my uh, of my illness, I'm super serious about this. Uh, and I'm also like super afraid of fanatics, you know, because uh, somebody that knows something is going to give you arguments. Somebody that believes something is gonna fucking kill you. He's gonna blow you up. Yeah, if you don't believe in his imaginary friend, he's gonna <laughs> blow up. And there's this, there's this story, right? I was at the conference and uh, they were talking about disabled people, blah, 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 and they also heard that the uh, there's a guy uh, whose name Valentine is blind and after the conference I met this old lady and she was like oh my god you're Valentine the blind guy and I was like yeah so she asked me are you religious and I was like mm, more or less you know I believe in something blah 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 and she was like let me try something let me try something okay so she starts spouting some again okay, some Jesus come down to this world I don't know why that happened so much to me uh, and try to heal this boy blah 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 and then she says to me close your eyes and my big mistake is that I did. <laughs> and then she started, you know, to doing more uh, like of the chanting and uh, rubbing her hands. And I swear to God, this is the next thing she did. It's full pandemic, okay, 2020. <laughs> she touches my face and started fucking rubbing it. And I was like, oh Lord, come down to this boy. And I was like, well, how can I say politely to this woman to get the fuck away from me? Jesus, why can you do that? And I was, after this, after this, she... She pulled out her hands and she was like, now can you see? And I was like, okay, okay, this is a time to play. This is a really stupid person. I, I think I'm gonna play with this a little bit. And I was like, oh my God, I think I can see you. And she was like, really? And I said, yeah, you're really ugly. <laughs> And she was like, oh, really, so you can see now? And I was like, no, get the fuck away from me before I punch you in the face. And then I punched her in the face, you know? So I'm not necessarily religious, but I think God kind of split the world in two ways. 
because he made he sent all his prophets like ACDC and Led Zeppelin to talk to us about <laughs> the highway to hell and the stairway to heaven, which kind of says a lot about the traffic in the area, right? Yeah. Uh, and also, I was talking to a person in a wheelchair about this, and he was like, "If there is only a highway to hell and a stairway to heaven, then I'm fucked." <laughs> <laughs> Like for the sake of level, a person in a wheelchair cannot do that. <laughs> Ever happened to you when a beggar or a fundraiser like actually has pity on you? <laughs> because it happened to me a few times. You have no idea what kind of reputation Romanians have outside of Romania. But I was in Italy and there was a beggar and he came and he was asking for money, right? And I was like, bro, I'm Romanian, I'm supposed to ask you for money. He was like, what do you mean? I think you make more per day than what a usual Romanian does per month, right? And, yeah. and he was like, okay, how much does a Romanian uh, get? It's like 200, 250 euro. Mom! <laughs> Anyways, and he was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And he actually tried to give me money. <laughs> Also, uh, like a fundraiser kind of person, you know, the, the, the ones that sit on the street and they ask you for money or donations and stuff. Uh, one of them stopped me at some point because I was on television recently. I was like, ah, it's probably an adoring fan. <laughs> She's asking for my autograph. No, no, apparently not. Uh, she asked me for money. I was like, okay, can I bother you for a second? And we're trying to make this fundraiser for this thing, you know, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but you know, uh, I'm like blind and I can't, uh, you know, get money from the ATM or anything, so I don't have any cash on me right now. I'm sorry. And she was like, oh my God, oh my I'm sorry, if I knew you had problems, I wouldn't have asked you. And I was like, what? Isn't my money good enough? Like, for reals? For helping other people? Like, what the hell is that all about? So, fundraisers and beggars actually pity you when you're Romanian and you're blind. That's a freaking combo. That's a freaking who the hell? Okay. It's really hard for me to go on dates, right? Because, honestly, the only type of date I can go in is the <laughs> These are my absolute favorite. And you know it's kinda it's kinda difficult because until you, you actually get to tell the girl you're blind, you most of the time you look like an alcoholic, like you're on drugs or you're fucking handicapped in your head uh, or something. But I was lucky enough at some point to meet a girl that was also on drugs, so we had a lot of fun together. <laughs> Uh, but that doesn't happen too often because honestly, like Tinder and dating sites for blind people are like a freaking lottery. I think we're the only persons that actually swipe right when you have, you know, there's the no profile picture. <laughs> Uh, which is kind of which is kind of cool because we give a chance to these people and also the greatest thing is that a blind person is not gonna fall in love with your boobs, your ass, your hair. She's gonna fall in love with your personality. Yeah, 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 yeah. That comes first. That come that comes first. But I was really funny. Like uh, my girlfriend's mother just told her that she's dating a blind guy, and she had the sweetest reaction ever. What the hell? Oh, okay. ah, this is a mark stand. All right, I can use this from time to time. Let's take over the world. Okay. Uh, yeah, and, and, she, and, and uh, he was like, okay, mom, like I'm dating this blind guy. He's pretty cool, blah blah. And I swear to God, this was his her reaction. And she was like, how does he like you if he doesn't know how you look? Like, and I think I think her reaction was like, thanks, mom. You raised me well. So it's all it's all these kind of uh, kind of funny stories uh, when you're blind. But there's also like a lot of advantages in dating a blind guy. Okay, first off, as a girl, you can never get angry at a guy because he didn't appreciate your haircut or your new T-shirt or your new earrings. And also, it's like super good because if you have like a fetish, you don't even need to cheat on him behind his back. You can do it in the front. <laughs> It's the absolute same thing. You can be in the lurk inside of your house and you're like, yo, wifey, can you stop like doing the schnitzels? Because I've heard like two minutes just slapping you each other for the two for the last two hours. Like my my friend is hungry. And she's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna finish quickly. Yeah, just a little, just some schnitzels, man. And you know, you're asking the guy, hey man, are you thirsty or something? Because you know, it was like, yeah, man, I've been helping out your wife with those schnitzels for two hours. Now. I, I, I could I could go for a beer. Yeah, sure. 
Yeah. So it's great. It's great dating a dating a blind guy. <laughs> yeah. It, uh, I, I like something in, in Romania, though, in Bucharest, especially in the city where I, where I, where I was raised. Uh, first off, it's like a minefield, you never know what to expect. And two, when you're walking down the street, you know, usually, when, especially when we're in pairs, you know, you can see like a, a little train made out of blind people, you know, with their canes and the dog in front and uh, something like that. And when we're walking down the street, you can see people, especially me, that I can see a little bit, I can see the reactions, you know, so it's like people just take their kids away from you or their friends that they're sitting on the phone or just like, ah, jumping out. Get away! Get away from the blind train! And, uh, but that doesn't happen 100% of the time because sometimes we have um, we have counter, like a nemesis on the street, alright? Our biggest nemesis, be besides our fucking scooters, those fucking things, uh, besides that we also have a competition with people in wheelchairs and women that have babies. <laughs> Those are the fucking worst. Like you can imagine, like a battlefield, blind people on the side with their gaze. Duh, 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 duh. The guys on the wheelchairs on the other side, like. <laughs> and the mommies with the babies. I swear to God, it's like a fucking Lord of the Rings movie. You know, they're like the trolls and the in the little carriage, like. Aah! And the moms are like. Aah! And we all meet in the middle, like. Aah! It's like a Lincoln Park concert or something. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> And I really have to appreciate my friends, guys. Like everybody that has good friends, come on, clap, clap for your friends. <laughs> especially my friends, and I know some of them are here and looking at me. I don't know where the fuck you guys are. Especially <laughs> apart from yeah, I was laughing over there. My Netflix. <laughs> yeah, Michael said that I, I, I sound like a Netflix special. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but my friends are the best, honestly, because you will... Esperanza TV special. Hope TV special. Well, you got a lot of energy, don't you? <laughs> when you can't see, I think the energy just gets bottled up and you have to... <laughs> but when you go to the toilet, you take it out, but that's just a whole nother mess. Anyway, uh, so my friends are the best. You would expect normal people, when they get beat up enough, to go away, right? Not my friends, like I hit them so much <laughs> during like a canes in the face and slaps and elbows and doors in the guys it's, it's really it's really 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 bad like for them but also blind people make really good friends too. Trust me. Once they can never steal from you. Where 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 would they run? <laughs> like it's like those it's like the song from Parasiti. It's a much better chance that they would wind up in the police station than home. Uh, first off, uh, second, uh, it's really cool when you have a blind friend because you can invite him over, and even though it's a complete mess, okay, it's a complete mess. You got dead bodies all over the floor, underwear everywhere. No problem. You can tell him he's the Taj Mahal. He's gonna believe you. <laughs> all right. And last but not least, can you imagine? Imagine if you get into a fight and you really don't want to get your ass kicked, well, you can have a blind friend to just kick him in the... <laughs> <laughs> like that. Well, that was, that was, well, thank you, God. <laughs> Very ironical. But anyways, to kick him and leave him behind, right, if you don't want to get your ass kicked. So it's awesome to have blind friends. Huh? And yeah, people often forget that I'm blind uh, because they can't really see um, the difference between me and normal people because my eyes are completely normal. Uh, and they have no problem with communicating with me, but also these people are the ones that get pissed off when I give them scene to the messages. Like just because I opened it doesn't mean I read it. Uh, and also sometimes when I post stuff on Facebook, for example, we went to Moscow this year and I, I thought I found a, a picture on my phone with my teammates in front of the airport and I was like, hey, so cool, Let's post this. And um, after, some, after some time, somebody calls me up and is like, Valentine, you just posted a picture of a dog fucking a pumpkin uh, with the tagline, they have no idea what's expected for them or we're gonna give it them so hard, they're not gonna be able to walk anymore. It's cool because in the competition that I am, there's an American dude, okay, that just went uh, went through, which is kind of cool. Somebody that does stand up in English gets voted by a Romanian crowd. I love that. Uh, and um, America is really cool because they just, in, in the state of Iowa a few years ago, they just realized guns for blind people. So we can finally start shooting stuff in Iowa without seeing just like everybody else. <laughs> but I'm also not ashamed of Romania. Like, I, I made my passport a few years ago and I told them I'm blind. And if you look at my passport, my friends told me this. If you look at my passport in the section eye color, it's not my, it's not my eye color, it just says orb. <laughs> 
which in Romanian means blind. And I was like, what? And it's, you know, it has a side in English and a side in Romanian, and both of them is orb, I call it. Orb. And I was like, wow, what a great shade of orb you have. Wow, that orb color really suits you. <laughs> what foreigners are thinking about, you know, when they see or I think they're thinking of some, some sort of magician or anyways, uh, which, which is really cool. But also here in Bucharest, I love it. Like I'm the only registered handicapped blind person that has a parking spot. Like you can actually do that. And I'm also working on buying a car now. <laughs> to be the only freaking person that's blind and they have a car in a parking space because apparently you can do that in Romania. So thank you the public authorities. Uh, which finally brings me to the next uh, to the next stuff. You know what a big advantage is when a blind person enters a, uh, like a public authority figure, you know, like Chica Financial and uh, some sort of some sort of like public institutions generally. You know, every, church. every time you go into a public institution, everybody's pissed off and they don't want to help you, right? Well, as soon as I enter the public institution, a bodyguard comes immediately at me and he's like, you're not allowed with the dog. And I explain to him because stuff with guide dogs is pretty new, blah, 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 what's going on, I'm blind. And uh, then I tell him what I'm, uh, you know, what, what I have to solve. And he's like, okay, I'm gonna help you out. He takes me to the, to the first window and immediately I walk to the window and without saying a word, the woman is like, you got the wrong window. I didn't even say anything like, sorry, now you have to go to the window number nine or something. I was like, I'm sorry, I'm blind and I need to like fix something, blah, blah, blah. I got some papers and I swear to God, I think I, I cannot see their, 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 their face, but I think it's, it just completely changes from this utterly disgusting and very pissed off little bitch into like, I swear, I, I think I take the maternity out or something with these people. You know, they, see, they see someone with a problem and she's like, oh, you poor thing. You know what? Just, 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 just give me, give, give me whatever you got. Give me, give, just, just, just give me. It's, it's like in the bank, you know, just, with, just with the bulletin. Just, I, I just give them my ID card, and I swear to God, it doesn't matter that I have the paper X, Y, Z. They just fix everything. Sometimes I don't even have to pay money, and I'm there to pay money. It's like, no, no, no. We're just gonna organize a fundraiser. It's okay. You just go. It's you. You got problems. We don't need your money. <laughs> So that's like really funny, but you know, when I, when I enter, I feel like a freaking rock star. It's like I'm thinking uh, that I'm like the, the big Preoto Daniel, you know, entering the place where he's blessing the, the where, where where the government cashes in the money for the uh, churches and stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, your brain is kind of, uh, it's kind of, um, our brains in general are really advanced machines, okay? They, they do some Maybe yours. amazing things for you. <laughs> Maybe yours. Trust me, I like 95% of the time you have no idea what it's doing. It's like a girlfriend, you know? 95% of the time she's like doing her own back stuff and 5% she's like, okay, honey, it's, it's okay. It's, it's, just, it's just to keep you happy a little bit. But what's going on with my brain is that because I can't see, but I can still see a little bit, it's like I'm undecided, you're hot and you're cold, you're just in your nose. Like I can see, I can't, it's like fucking weird all the time. But sometimes when you see something and you're not sure what it is, your brain kind of completes the image, okay? And I have this funny story. Uh, ah, wait, I, I read somewhere that I shouldn't say I have a funny story in, uh, in stand-up, so I'm just gonna have a story. Uh, uh, I was uh, with some friends, and they said, oh my god, the bus is coming, the bus is coming, we need to hurry, we need to hurry. And I was like, ha ha, I'm gonna be the first one to get there. And so I started running towards the bus station, and just as the bus was pulling up, like, I freaking forgot that I can't see for a second, and I was very convinced that I would jump from the from the sidewalk straight into the, straight into the bus like a superhero, and I was like, ha ha, I just beat you guys. So of course that didn't happen because the bus was just arriving, not going, and the doors were closed. <laughs> so immediately it was like, Poof. And after I fell, like, I swear to God, I think the driver was like, okay, I want to see where this is going. <laughs> he wasn't opening the doors at all, and as soon as I hit the sidewalk, he opened the doors, and everybody inside was like, <laughs> And that, and that kind of made me figure, I think I'm the type of person when he does something, he does it 100%. If I have a belief, I'm just gonna go for it, no matter how many doors are gonna get in the way. <laughs> yeah, many people say the worst fear is to go blind, okay? Like, think about it. What would happen if you go blind? Not be able to see, not be able to appreciate certain stuff. Well, my biggest fear is that one day some sort of freak accident happens and poof, bye-bye. <laughs> Like I said, I love to have 
like that special dance with a woman, like a lot. I like the smell. I love the. Well, if you haven't ate beans, then it's uh, probably the smell and probably a big turn off. So don't eat beans before sex. Really, please, people, don't eat beans, okay? Uh, and I really. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> and I really love. Uh, yeah. And I really love to do that with a girl. Uh, well. Actually, I didn't really try that much, but you know, you can also add like other guys or animals or sheep or bricks or something. Like I don't know what are people into nowadays. But it's lucky for me that I had all these experiences. But I stopped when it came to bats and piglins <laughs> because I saw what freaking happens when you do that. So don't have sex with bats and piglins. Thank you for that, listen, people. The GPS is a really funny tool, right? Did you ever notice how it talks? It's like, especially when it comes to roundabouts. At, at some point, the GPS goes like, enter the roundabout and leave it at the third exit. <laughs> Whoa, does anybody think about the feelings of the roundabout getting left? <laughs> you know, I, I was like, exit the roundabout or something, but at, at least have a talk with the roundabout before you leave it, right? It's like, I'm polite. My role model. Yeah, my, uh, I have, do have a role model. Anybody heard of Daredevil? Yeah. All right, uh, when I was uh, back in college, I know my friends used to call me better than Wally. <laughs> for some reason, and that's because we, we really are a lot alike, except we don't have the same passions, the same energy, the same success to grow, the same cane, the same clothes, the same job, the same house, the same city, the same, but we do have one thing in common, and that we both had a problem in when we had to register for university, and it wasn't because of the admission uh, like test, it was because we both had a really hard time finding the freaking entrance. And thank you everybody, that was kind of it. Thank you for having a lot of Thanks for supporting everything. Thanks to Matt for filming. Thanks to Matt for not having you on. Hey, please, 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 please,